Okay, so it's really cold out today, and I'm just going to show you this uh, gun I have here. It actually only reads to minus 50. It'll error out once it gets to a certain spot. Look at that. Frozen bubbles. He broke a hole in it. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Woo! Holy! I gotta find a better mixture because they'll actually do the frozen, like they'll go like a like a snowflake pattern up them. They don't even pop. Here we are. It doesn't even pop, it just freezes solid. I love that they deflate a little for like <laughs> that one. Still a bubble. These frozen ones still here from like 10 minutes ago. Minus 44. That was a good one. That was awesome. 44. That's cool. Okay, so it's like minus 44 out today, and I just wanted to show you guys how you keep your mobile unit warm underneath if you don't have insulation on the side. I knew this weather was coming, so. I pack snow around with the snowblower all around here. See if this thing errors out. Yeah, it's erroring out, so it's it's saying it's minus 50. It doesn't even want to read. So anyway, this is what you do, and you pack it all the way around, and it keeps it uh, it keeps it nice and warm. So yeah, you just pack it all the way around. And it uh, keeps the cold air from going underneath and it helps insulate. The floor actually feels warmer after I did that too. So the other thing that you do too to keep it warm is you plastic your windows. And uh, you know after you plastic because it feels warmer in your place almost immediately. Uh, these windows do leak air because they're old, like they leak a fair bit of air. Uh, so this plastic makes a huge, huge difference. So I got down to like minus 50 some temperatures last night with the windshield and uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a wood stove. Um, I call it a heat pump <laughs> because the government has those ridiculous heat pumps that they're trying to kick out that don't work. These things work though. And I just wanted to show you my modifications that I did and I've already done a video on this. And we're pulling our air from the vent system of the house and putting up the back side of the stove. And there's my inlet pipe there. I just wanted to show you how cold this air is coming in here. Okay, so that's the air coming in from outside. It's like minus 19. And then you go up the pipe here where the fan motor is. Let's see if I can get a clear image. Minus 20. Minus 10. And we'll just follow it here. And then it's going up my chimney. And as it goes up, it progressively gets hotter. And that is outside air that is coming inside that's being preheated. Because it makes more sense to do it this way than to put that freezing cold air into the bottom of your wood stove. Now your wood stove has to heat up that intake air. And your wood will burn faster because you've got dense air. And I want a longer burn out of my wood, so that's why I did it that way. 
Having this flip out door helps a lot too because it allows you to radiate the heat off of the side of the wood stove rather than having this heat shield on here that they put on here for safety reasons they say uh, because it's a trailer safe uh, wood stove um, but I, I did the hinge thing because well I get a lot more heat this way especially when it's this cold outside and that grate in there rack keeps the wood off the floor and well as you can see it works good uh, and I get lots of coals I don't get a lot of coal buildup and with how cold it was last night um, it did get pretty cool in here it cooled down to about 74 degrees overnight which is still pretty warm the, the, the furnace kicks in at about 72 um, but yeah when I woke up this morning I just rocked this thing on full air for a little while to get it warmed up in here and uh, we we did turn the furnace on just to help it warm up and it warmed up pretty quick with the wood stove going and we're sitting right around 83 and it's just nice and comfortable this wood stove will get it to 80 degrees in here all on its own we don't need the furnace all the time to help it bring it up. we only do that because uh, it brings the temperature up in the house faster uh, but once it's there the stove will maintain that temperature throughout the day and uh, we have to be on top of putting wood in this thing. We get a, probably about a five hour burn out of this thing when it's this cold. Like you're, you're down to coals, like it's still making heat, but you're just not making enough heat to keep up with the cold. Um, and so you have to throw wood on there and get the flame happening again because the coals just won't cut it. Like there's a fair amount of coals, but, and the stove's still making a fair amount of heat. It's just not making enough to keep up. So if you're going to try to maintain the heat in the house, you've got to have a flame on and you've got to have it kind of looking like that. Uh, once it, that flame starts to go out and it's just coals, it won't maintain and you've got to throw more wood on and then you get another five, five, six hour burn out of it before you've got to throw more on. I'll link the video in the description of the modifications I did to this Pacific Energy wood stove because uh, I've got a whole other video on it. If you like this content, please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks, thanks for watching.